everyone and welcome back to the Cursing Seamstress. Today is the 20, 28th, I believe. Um, Christmas is over. I have taken my decorations. What few I put up are down, <clears throat> excuse me, are down inside the house. Um, I will probably work on getting the um, whatever decorations I put up outside put away today or tomorrow. It's been really cold here. Um, it's gotten down, I think, to 19 degrees at night. Um, today it's sunny and I think my car said it was um, 34 degrees when, um, when I was driving. I just got home. So, um, and it's not windy, so it feels okay today to be out and about. Um, I have a pattern review for you today. Um, this is a, an apron pattern. It's Butterick B4945. And this is it. It's sizes small, medium, and large. And there are one, two, three, five different versions of this. I made that version um, once and I'm making it a second time. It has a little collar. They call the collar flaps. I don't know why. Um, this is a half apron. This has some um, gathering a little, um, you know, a separate piece down here, a ruffle kind of thing. Um, this is extremely plain. Um, looks kind of like a commercial sort of design. And that is similar to the one I did, only this is an inset, I think, and it has a pocket on it. There's no collar and um, it's broken up with a, an optional um, contrasting piece of fabric down at the bottom. So it's really cute. Um, this is what the line art looks like. And um, so I don't think I've ever made an apron with a pattern. I found an apron um, for free somewhere. Um, it was to make a kid's apron. And I showed this a while ago um, when I first started doing YouTube videos. I made aprons for um, my two grand boys and a, a granddaughter that I have. And, um, and it was fun, they came out great. It was not a difficult pattern. So this, this pattern was good. I, um, whatever mistakes I made with the first um, make, um, I hope I don't make with the second one. Um, the first one I'm gonna, I'm looking at it here, um, the fabric I found at Habitat for Humanity for almost nothing. Um, and so I used that and that's my goal is for the upcoming year of 2018, I want to stop buying fabric unless I absolutely have to have it for something that a family member wants um, and use up the fabric I have. I have tons of fabric. It's ridiculous. Um, I don't like it. I feel like I've become a hoarder to a certain degree and it does not make me happy. So I've already gone through, I got rid of a lot of scraps that I thought I would use and I haven't. I'm just not gonna let them hang around. But, um, but anyway, I'll, I'll go ahead, if I can move this over here and just kind of show you, um, and I'll insert some pictures I think later, but this is it. It's on a half kind of a mannequin. Um, this is the collar. This is the fabric that I've shown you before. It's absolutely perfect for an apron. It has um, all kinds of tropical fruits on it. Um, it's got watermelon and cherries and pineapples and bananas um, and things I don't even know, maybe kiwi. Um, it's lightweight, maybe it is a broad cloth, I'm not sure. This is the contrasting fabric, which really is not in here. It's almost in here, but not quite, but yet it goes really well. Um, so there's a tie in the back right here. Um, and then there is a tie for the waist. It's right here. Um, and, um, and that's it. So there is some facing underneath here. 
Um, and I think what got me when I made this the first time, and, and it's me, it's not the, the pattern, I don't think. Maybe the instructions could have been a, a little bit clearer, but I do blame it mostly on me. I think what was confusing to me is this is a separate piece. This is called a band on the pattern. You can see right here, I think that it's a separate piece and the back is the facing of the band. I use the same fabric. But when you put it together, for me, it was a little bit confusing. Um, I mean, I could tell where the um, collar went because there are notches that need, needed to be matched and the facing that's on the inside because there were notches that needed to be matched. But the um, placement of the neck tie pieces here um, and the waist tie was a little bit confusing to me. But it took me a bit to, excuse me, to figure it out. Um, but this is meant to look, it's meant to be contiguous. So it attaches here, but it's meant to look as if this band flows all the way up to the necktie and that it continues to flow um, off the band and onto the tie that goes onto the sash for the, the waist tie. So um, for me, I just didn't get that. And um, so I ended up having to remove stitching a couple of times at the neck and also here. And it seemed to me that this band, the piece they call a band, was a little bit too long. And I ended up having to cut it off to make it flush with, um, you know, for this to match up and make it flush with the side of the apron. But it came out great. I really like it. This is a large. I usually will make, if it's not for myself, I will usually make the largest size or at least a size larger than, than I'm going to wear um, <clears throat> before I go down further because actually the large is fine. It's a little bit too big for me. I would probably go with the medium. Um, but this is the type of pattern where you would not have any difficulty in cutting a smaller size. There, is just a, there are just a few places that you're going to have to dip in a little bit further. So the, um, I'm making it again. And again, this is in an effort to get rid of fabric that I have that I probably won't use on anything else. Um, I do like this fabric, but it's limited in what you can do with it. Um, I bought it a long time ago. I think I've used it for a pillowcase and um, uh, I think I made some uh, diaper covers or maybe one diaper cover. I still have some left, so I think this will be the end of it. But you can see this is the uh, very same pattern. This is the collar here. Um, this is the tie and this will um, end up looking like it's contiguous when this facing is folded back and uh, the same i just have the um these pinned on right now um and this is the facing it's in white and this will end up uh, being folded over at the seam line for this band to um, to finish it off um, other than my thinking that this band was too long um, everything matched up pretty well. Um, I didn't have any trouble. I don't slip stitch anything, so when I do um, stitch down this facing, I will do it on the machine. Um, I, I don't like to hand stitch at all. It's just not something that's fun for me. Um, but that's it. Um, the only contrasting color is the white for the back of this, for the facing here, and for the collar um the um facing for the the neckline here i did in the shamrock fabric so it's adorable i do recommend it it's fun to make um the um small i think i'm going to give away to a friend of mine who's irish um and so i wear a 12 sometimes a 14 uh, for me the medium would be the size that i would make um, and I probably will. It only takes about a yard. Let's see. Um, for a medium, 
actually this says um, for B which is what I made B is a yard and a half <clears throat> okay a yard and a half um, and then the contrasting fabric is an eighth of a yard so again if you're looking for a nice gift to give someone um, I think this would be fantastic so that's it I give it two thumbs up and I'll be back shortly to show you some other things I'm doing I'm going to start working with knits a little bit um, and um, I'll see you until then thank you